This is a good height? This side hits me in the well but what we're doing now is just trying to set it up in the best spot um, you know taking the wind into consideration and Megan is just gonna measure uh, we have to get another piece of wood to shield the tripod this is one of the symbol spheres we're going to use um, for the experimental work so um, you can see they're, they're quite heavy so it's artificial bone material basically filled with ballistic gelatin to mimic the brain tissue and then what we did here we mounted a piece of tubing in which ensures we can basically screw it on top of the tripod so it sits securely for the experimental work. Oh. survey tripod so it slots in it's screwed in at the bottom we have a bolt uh, liquid melt uh, welded into the bottom of the pipe uh, and then from there we attach uh, some cork rings for protection in case the stone flies and cracks through the plastic these aren't very expensive at all but it just saves us having to replace them a lot um, and on top of that we have a tension ring and the tension ring provides pressure onto the stems we have mounted in the ballistic spheres and that should hold the spheres on uh, when we strike. It'll be a little bit of trial and error at the beginning because we're not sure how much force is going to be applied but that's, that's what we're hoping for. So we've marked the spheres with front and uh, back left and right. The left and rights are anatomical left and right. And then I'm able to hold it and tighten them out pressure to the tube and we'll keep the sphere in place when it's struck. The cork rings around the outside are just to provide some extra support and defend the plastic. That's more or less how we mount it. <laughs> Yeah, although 